Alright everybody, so hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. This segment's going to be kind of a short one, because the Returner's Hideout is kind of a pain to manage. There are a lot of NPCs walking around in cramped areas, and the next segment's going to be involving counting steps, I think, in a cramped area with an NPC, which is exactly the last thing that I want. So I'm going to just go easy on it and split it up into two. I hope I didn't accidentally take a step left there. My controller kind of wobbled a bit. Alright, there we go. I'm in the return side out. Now, thankfully, this guy leads me through most of it the first time. Normally, that's just not really relevant to anything, but here it actually helps out quite a bit. Good, I didn't get Returner soft locked. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's all that likely, but. Alright, I made it into the door. Walk up to the top, but I take a step back. This room kind of works like a funnel. You just kind of got to go right and down, and eventually, and then left and down, and you can kind of worm your way to the bottom where the the entrance to Elite River is, and the Returner's Hideout music stops there, which is kind of handy. See, like, I'm in here now, and this is pretty much just a straight line, so I just have to leave. Uh, I don't know if I took an extra step there. One... Two, three, four. Alright, I'll try to guess where Bannon is, but if I don't make it, it doesn't make a difference because I can just go to the Wheat River anyway. Yeah, I think I missed him, so. Come on, I can do it. Get down to the bottom. One, two... Alright, now we're in the cutscene. Yeah, the music fades out right away. So I'll know that if I mess up this segment. You know, I might just make a last minute route change to this, because uh, I might want to go to the inn before I go to the next segment. Hopefully I can work out how to get to the inn. I'm not 100% sure I remember, but... Alright, so Terra just got out of bed, so I'm going to go and talk to Locke right now. Thankfully, even if I jam A for too long here, Terra randomly faces downwards during the cutscene, so I won't accidentally talk to Locke again. So, got that. Whatever it was. Now I can head under the bed to all the way to the left, two steps back, hit the door. I can't check with that door, I don't think. I think that door doesn't close when I leave, so I can't check if I'm in the right spot. I'll go right down and out here thankfully you can step over that weird tile as to the uh, left of the staircase hitting this box now here's where the guy kinda gets in the way a little bit I really don't like this guy here he's annoying so I've probably made it by now Please don't get in my way. Alright, so now I should be talking with Sabin. Now I'm not talking with Sabin. Unless I talk to the returner, then I kinda goofed. One, two... But I, I'm pretty sure the guy in the next room is gonna be far worse than this guy. This guy's not really a pain in the butt, unless if he walks up the stair... Like... When you're following the one guy... He can walk up the staircase and uh, get in your way and 
then you can actually get stuck behind him when you try to enter the door, so that's probably a reset most of the time. Alright, so I counted it that that would uh, land me in front of the staircase. So, in I guess that also means that I can just go straight down from there and end up in the inn. Shoot, maybe I should buy stuff from the item guy too this segment. Hopefully I can remember the item shop menu as well. I kind of did this, but half-heartedly before, because it originally wasn't in my plan, but... I'm getting better at remembering these things, though, because, uh... I've done a lot more segments by this point. It took, it took me a lot of tries to get the Narshi Caves down, and those aren't even that hard. Compared to... the Returnus Hideout area. Should have hit the top by now. Right one, up one, and up one again. Now I should be out of the room. Now I don't remember exactly where the item shop guy is, but... Okay, so this is the item shop guy. Buy. I think potions are at the top. Otherwise I'm probably just buying something random, so... <laughs> And hopefully it'll come in handy. <laughs> I was gonna buy four. Now let's go down to tonics. And I'll buy 20 of those. Now I hope I didn't mess that one up or I might blow a lot of gill on something that isn't worth my time, but whatever. Left one. All the way up the staircase. I'm hoping that was only one step left that I needed there. I mean, I could check by talking to the end guy again, but hopefully it shouldn't come to that. Then again, I know where I'll... Now that I think about it, I'll end up back in the green cherry area if I miss by one step. Oh, there's the door. Okay. So now I can kind of funnel my way back down. The problem is, for whatever reason, the Serpent Trench isn't open right now. I mean, not Serpent Trench, Leet River isn't open right now. For, I don't know why, it was open earlier when Bannon was standing there, but now it's not. But So I can't actually go in. I've just got to try and work my way down to that area, because straight up is the safe point. But there's one more thing I want to do before the segment actually ends. Alright, so hopefully I've made it to the right spot. Nope, I didn't make it to the right spot. As long as I don't end up somehow really weird, or somehow end up out of the room, I should be able to make it down to the spot, though, just by going this way. There we go. Alright, I'm on the same point so I can look. Now, here's here's the trick. I've got to talk to Edgar, and but he's moving around. But thankfully the save point happens to be here, so I just close my eyes as I walk off the save point. I, I don't want to try and put the blindfold down because uh, that would take too long. So I'll just close my eyes, but it'll still be legit. And then I can check if I made it to him in time by uh, opening the menu during when I think his cutscene will play. The big pain in the butt is waking, waiting for him to actually walk up to the top of the screen. I'd use fast forward, but I, you'll probably see this part of the video in fast forward, but I, I won't use the actual fast forward command on the emulator because that'll desync all the sound, so I don't want to do that when I replay it back. It'll desync all the sounds, so... Do 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do Well, at least I get to see something, even if it's only this torch flickering. <gasps> Edgar! <laughs> the wild Edgar roams in his natural habitat. Observed. By a scientist. The wild Edgar comes closer. But is shy. He walks away again. Alright. Alright, let's check. Good. I, I tried to open the menu and it failed, so... Good. Alright, back at the save point. <laughs> the lights turned off while my eyes were closed. Let's just finish this off, considering we're on the save point anyway. I wasn't able to equip Locke, but thankfully... It's only just a good thing that I forgot to equip Relics in the last segment, because, uh... I don't have anything really spectacular to de-equip from Locke now, so that's a handy. Well, see you next time.